This is a slightly more modern version of the 35mm SLR. Uh, it's gone from being a completely, totally manual system to a semi-automatic. And the semi-automatic business refers to its ability to autofocus and the feature where it automatically determines the correct exposure. But for our purposes, it re refers mainly to the automatic loading and automatic film advance features. So with this camera, there's a little switch on the side and you slide that down to open the back. And already you can see that inside the camera is quite different. You can spot that there are these little contacts that allow uh, information about the ISO of the film to be transferred to the computer's uh, light meter. There is no rewind knob. Uh, the workings on this side are similar. There's a, a, a sprocketed spool that the film travels over, but the automatic advance system, automatic loading and advance system is quite different because there are no slots in the take-up spool. So the way, it's quite a simple process in comparison to the, the manual system. The way it works is that the film gets popped in like so, travels across, and you'll notice that fluorescent red mark. You've got to get the film to that point or beyond it. That's it, fairly well secured. Now when you close the back and press the, uh, the button for the first exposure, the camera goes through several exposures until it uh, has set itself ready to start taking pictures. Uh, one of the nice features about this is that when it reaches the end of the film, it will automatically re rewind and you'll just hear a little motor starting to whir and for about 10 or 15 seconds it rewinds the film. Uh, then you can open the back, remove the film and put a new roll in. The only other version that you should concern yourself with is uh, a version that was featured in some Nikon models and in some Canons, uh, like the Canon EOS system, which is the, where they used a very similar method for loading the film. Uh, it takes, takes it on automatically, but unlike this one where it's similar to the manual system, uh, where you have the, the film gets advanced each time you take a picture, the system that you find in the EOS, the way it works is it winds the film out of the cassette totally onto the takeoff spool and then as you take your photographs the film gets wound back into the cassette. Uh, there are some advantages to that in that for instance if the camera is accidentally opened in the middle of your roll of film the photographs that you've already taken will be saved because they're back in the light tight canister. But the only disadvantage really is that when you process your film instead of the numbers on the negatives appearing chronologically, they'll be backwards because you will have taken your film uh, backwards basically. So the, your first exposure will be 36 and your last exposure will be 1. And that's just the way the film is numbered.